So, a quick recap, in case you missed it. My girlfriend is dead. The world is ending. And it is kind of all my fault, because the broken magic sword that was meant to destroy the evil void god who wants to wipe out all of existence was actually the prison stopping him from coming back to life. So when we put it back together, we also jigsaw puzzled his soul back into one piece. He respawned and kicked our collective asses. It was a mess. All caught up? Let's get back to the blind panic. The Dvergar around the foot of Talon's keep were understandably freaking out a little. They had better cause to freak out than all the other people that were about to be apocalypsed. To be fair, they had been the ones to dig old Arafel up, and he cursed them pretty badly when they turned on him after his last attempt at the universal genocide plan. Arafel wasn't going to kill them any deader than the rest of the world, but he'd probably be meaner about it, I guess. Word had rippled out through the crowds of Dvergar, and they'd melted away before our eyes, heading off to the big central building I'd made for their town, where the few slightly older Dvergar that might pass as leaders tended to gather. With no brighter ideas for the immediate future, I trudged after them, with Mercy and Asher dawdling at my heels. We were all dressed in rags, with the fancy armor and weapons I'd made for us annihilated by the Void God, along with everything else in his path. The only reason being in reach of him hadn't resulted in all of us instantly snuffing out too was because we were Eternals, and even then, I knew without a doubt that actually getting hit by him would be the end of us, the real end not just the little chat with the Grim Reaper before popping up again that we usually did. Permanent destruction. I felt weirdly light without my armor, like I might float up off the ground. The fact I wasn't lugging around a giant sword probably helped with that, too. Or any sword, in fact. The rusted blade had been completely annihilated by RFL. Any hope of using it against him was gone. When I tried to reach out through my soul bond to the shards, there was just nothing there. They were untethered and flapping in the wind, just waiting for me to attach something else to my soul. The only one that was still intact was latched on to the handle of the Lukis. It was a broken and completely useless hilt with gold leaf flaking off it, and it had nothing to do with the rusted blade itself, apart from having briefly been attached to one of the shards. Now... It was attached to me for eternity. Great.